Okay, so just push them out a little bit more with your right leg. Okay. Remember, you're gonna keep a light contact so you do feel his mouth a little bit, but kind of like you're holding little birds in your hands. Now you're gonna start to kind of alternate your leg feeling his belly go back and forth and you're start, gonna start to ask him to go faster. And then I'll tell you when you get to that speed. A little bit more. And when he does it, his head should go up and down. He has a little bit more than that. So keep going a little bit faster. Good. Now the hardest part is now just keeping that fast walk. Yep. So you're gonna keep steering, keep looking where you're going. Now he already slowed down on you. And it's hard because it's a walk so you don't feel any difference. Yeah. Yep. So a little bit faster. And remember, if, if you squeeze and he's not responding, start going to your stick. Because if you don't do anything, then they just ignore you. Yeah, a little bit faster. Yeah, and now see if you can hold your stick on your thigh. There you go. Because if we use the stick, you're going to hit behind your leg, not on the shoulder. Now a little faster, because now as he got by that horse, he slowed down. And they always do that. Good. And now as you're going around, try to pick things to stare at with your eyes. So right now, like stare at the window down there and then stare at letter P, which is behind me. So look over here and look at letter P. That way he knows where he's going. And then stare out the gate now. And then after you get towards the gate, you're, you're gonna stare at the corner. So you're always trying to tell the horse ahead of time where you're going. So a little faster. And the reason he got so slow, you got very close to me and he's like, oh, we always stop and talk to Gay, so let's just stop. Yep, so a little bit faster. a Little bit more. And everything with the gated horses, you'll hear me say a little bit more because if we ask for too much, they get too fast. So no faster than that. That's good for your flat walk. So now all you're doing, it's just like your car is controlling the brakes by, you know, squeezing and relax on the rein if he gets too fast and then using the leg if he gets too slow. Yep. And then the only thing Dancer is doing right now, he is shaking his head up and down, but it's also going side to side, which we don't want. So you got to hold just a little bit more on that rein and you might have to use more legs since we picked up more contact. But what we're gonna try to do is hold his head straight so it doesn't go side to side. We don't want too much motion. We only want up and down. Yeah. And then as you get by me, kind of go towards the rail because otherwise he keeps slowing down too much. So just push him off that right leg. Yeah. That way you're not close to me and he's not slowing down. Yeah. Your upper body looks good. And then just remember with your leg, it's just a light pressure and then it's your stick. Because if you dig real hard, you'll get exhausted. So he has to realize light pressure means go. And if it doesn't go, I get that little stick hits me. Yep. And then put your stick back up on your thigh. Yep. Now he slowed down and he cut in. Good. Yep. Now as you're gating, when they're doing good, we're not going to stop yet, but that's when we want to stop. When they're doing bad or the gate gets bouncy, we never want to stop because that tells them that's what we want. Yeah. Good. Now, if he's drifting, then you just catch him with that outside leg. Yep. Now a little stick if he's not listening. That's it. Yep. And then look up. Don't look at his head. Good. Push him out a little bit more with that right leg, but then be conscious. Am I digging my right leg the whole time? Because your heel's kind of up. And I want to make sure your leg doesn't cramp up either. Good. But we're doing pretty good. For the first time flat walking, it'll change. As you get better, you'll get much more out of them. But it's fine. Yeah. So a little bit faster. Good. And your hands are good. You're very light with your hands. So I'm not worried about you pulling too much on them. If anything, it might be too little as we go faster. Okay. So I'm gonna talk while you keep going. So their flat walk is still a walk. It's just a fast walk. So again, in a regular horse, like the one down there, it would be that horse's extended walk. When we do a running walk, it's still a walk. So it's not gonna feel a lot different. It's just gonna be faster, okay? So they have lots of different speeds and that's the hard part is it's still a walk. So it doesn't feel a lot different. And that's why a lot of people can't tell what they're doing. Okay, so what I'm gonna have you do is go a little faster for his flat walk because their flat walk is supposed to be like three to five miles per hour. And if I walk fast, I can do three miles per hour. So you want him walking faster than I go. Okay. 
So that's pretty good. So that's going to be your flat walk. Now keep his head from going side to side. And all that means is like you're riding a bike and you're just steadying the handlebars. So you're just steadying the reins and holding him so he can't swing his head side to side. Yeah. And as you flat walk, your hips kind of move back and forth in the saddle as he goes. Okay. Now we're going to go just a little bit faster and we're going to take him up to his running walk. So I'll tell you when you get there. So start asking for a little bit more speed. So for now, that's good. So now you're just going to keep that speed. Remember, steady his head so it doesn't go side to side. Yep. If he cuts in, you dig with that right leg, but don't be digging the whole time. Now he slowed down as you pushed him over. So it's like your car slowing down as you're changing lanes. You're trying to keep it the same speed. Yep. So no faster than that for now. That's good. They go much faster on the trail. And that's the hard part because it feels like a walk and then we pass everybody. Now he's slowing down. Yep. And whatever you do, don't kick him. It's always gradual. That's too much. Yep. And it's hard, you might be like, it's still smoother than the trotting horse, but we, what we're trying to do is get correct form and the correct footfall. Yeah. So don't go any faster than you're going. The rest is just keeping the speed and then just making him go where you're trying to go direction wise. Now he's slowed down, Yep. Yeah. And they're tricky, they'll pretend they're gonna go to the bathroom and then they don't. So right here, he drifts every time. So next time as you're getting closer to that, Think of pressing your left rein and leg, which is the outside, against him to block him so he can't go that way. Geldings are great. They repeat the same thing in the same spot. So if you think about it, you can outsmart them pretty easily. A little too much. Okay, this is where he drifts. So now press your left rein and leg against him. Yep, that's okay. <laughs> that's all right, that's the learning part. Now a little leg, and if he doesn't go, go right to your stick. He's, he's a great horse, but it doesn't mean he won't test you. Okay. Yep, so a little faster. Now he's back to a regular walk. Yeah. So a little bit faster. So the flat walks, yep. And then, so I always push through from my flat walk to my running walk. So that's it. So you don't want to go any faster in here. Yep, until we really get it down. Now he already slowed down. Yep. So a little bit more. Never be afraid to use your stick. You don't want to hit him hard. You just want to yeah. wiggle first and then tap so he knows you mean business. Yep. Good job. Okay, so this next time around, we're gonna try to stop, but don't stop yet. And I'm gonna count it, and then again, he'll be much more motivated to stop. So we hope, since we've been working him, he'll stop without us having to pull on the reins, okay? So we're gonna start now. So one, stop riding and kind of slump. Two, take a deep breath in, but don't wiggle your stick. Three, say whoa. whoa. Yeah, so it's perfect, except it's on video, you're staring at his head. <laughs> okay now back him up because he's come towards me if you've noticed so pull if he doesn't go use your leg but don't look at his head stare at this camera because you're on the camera yeah pull let go there you go good now just stand there and let him sit on the buckle